What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know what? I am ready. I am ready because shit is heating up out here, okay? Teams are cutting players left and right and stuff. Teams are making moves to get their salary cap in order. Free agent frenzy is going to start on Monday. And we got the Cowboys stuck in reverse. And we're still talking about culture. Culture with the Cowboys. Yes, I've been painting, okay? I'm a sloppy painter, okay? Get, just get over it, all right? Just, just get over it. I am a man that does a lot of different things at the same time, okay? See, we got Joe Boo's day job here, of course, with Joe Boo Sports. And, you know, at some point, uh, you know, I'm going to be back to Joe Boo's uh, cooking and tailgating. But here we have, again, we've heard players before, typically guys that have gone to Washington, and they've said, you know, this is totally different. They really care about football. And you're kind of like, we're talking about the left hand up, the commanders. But... We heard from Cole Beasley when he left Dallas and he went to Buffalo and said that the focus here is on football because, quite frankly, when you're in Buffalo, this is no disrespect, Buffalo. Niagara Falls is beautiful. It is incredible. You can go across to Canada and stuff and things and have a great time and all that. But let's be clear here. Buffalo versus being in Big D, there's a whole lot more to do and a whole lot less snow. And so the focus, of course, is going to be more on football. We know that Jerry Jones is the circus, the, the ringleader. That, that's all he cares about. He likes to have the publicity and all that stuff on here. Well, Dalton Schultz, who just got himself a three-year, $36 million contract and is happy being with the Texans, has spilled the beans on the Cowboys and throw shade on them in a way he doesn't mention culture but I think you can kind of infer that there's a difference of what goes on in Big D. Let's listen to Dalton Schultz on the Pat McAfee show. In that, But like when you get to Houston, is it vastly different than your time in Dallas whenever you're talking yeah, about sure. all the off the field? Is it? Is that real? Is that yeah, real? no, it, it's that was one of the first things that kind of stuck out to me is like it feels like much more. I don't want to say college because it's not, but like the focus is just football you know what i mean and, and <laughs> going back and like telling some people like how kind of being around the cowboys like practice facility and you know game day um describing some of the interactions and stuff that you see on a day-to-day -day basis like surprise a lot of people they're like holy crap like that actually happens like at a practice facility and like you know it's just you think it's normal and then you come to a place like, like this. what like what like what you don't have to out anything but like what are you what? no dude it's just like you there's people literally going on tours um while you're listening in the weight room and they've got like a one-way they've got a one-way mirror for people to like look at like it's literally it's a zoo dude <laughs> there's people <laughs> tapping on the glass like trying to get people's attention as they're doing you know power cleans or whatnot and it's just, it's different. And, and I mean, that's the brand that they've built. That's, you know, that's what Jerry Jones likes. That's the way that they run things. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, you know, you don't realize like how many, you know, eyeballs and how, how much that can maybe, you know, distract from, you know, stuff just in the locker room, being in the facility until you go somewhere else. And you're like, holy crap, like, dude, there's none of that. Like, this is, you know, also a really well run um, organization in Houston. And, I think that was one of the things that kind of scared me about like leaving Dallas the most is like, I wasn't sure what another organization would kind of feel like. And dude, I got here and it was like, this place is a well-oiled machine. Like it's, you know, coaching staff, the coaching changes. I can't speak to the previous stuff, but like the strength staff is phenomenal. The training staff is unbelievable. This has been the most like trainers that I've ever seen on a staff and they take really amazing care of the players. Um, the nutrition staff is phenomenal. The, the chefs, they like, they came in and they poached like five of the best chefs in the Houston area and they paid them a bunch more. And they're like, come, you know, come hang out and cook for us. Smart. And so it's like everything that they kind of do is really top notch and, you know, not being sure of like how another organization would kind of be run leaving Dallas. Like I was so happy and like, no, wow. You know, again, you know, it's feeding time at the zoo. 
And I'll say that um, when we went down to uh, rebuild Stuart Morris's house and things uh, right after he passed, we got the chance to go to the Star and do the tour. And this was right after they finished doing uh, OTAs. Um, in fact, they finished doing their last OTAs the day before uh, we went in. This is two years ago. And Michael Gallup was actually working in the locker room. We weren't allowed to actually go in the locker room. Normally, you are allowed to go into the locker room and things like that. But going through the tour, we saw the, you know, the whole cafeteria situation in there. We found out that I, I don't know if they've hired five of the best chefs in Dallas or not. But we know that a stipend gets taken out of your pay every month to cover you eating there, whether you eat there or not. That, you know, you see the weight room and the big glass walls and things like that. That I guess what he's saying is the Cowboys, you're like the goldfish. You're the goldfish there. Everybody's coming through to see the goldfish. I guess maybe goldfish is not good. But uh, I guess you're the pandas. Because the pandas, everybody wants to see the pandas. Everybody wants to see the pandas before they, they left D.C. to go back to China. But we've heard a lot of players talk about that and see this is where you know it goes back to where stephen jones says stuff well you know as a dallas cowboy player you can make a lot of money on the side because you are a dallas cowboy because we have all of the you know media that's here and so on you know and, and thinks that that's a draw for the players but in the end, it may be that it's more of a distraction. So if I've got to spend time constantly talking to the media or, you know, we got people that are there watching me lifting weights and everything else and stuff, you, you kind of have to perform for everybody out there instead of just focusing in on your job. And I ask you, okay, I ask you because we don't know. I don't know what it's like. I don't know what it's like, but I know one thing. One thing that bothers me is when I'm working, okay, when I'm working, you know, and doing things, although I'll do it as a video, but having people there that are watching and asking questions and stuff, it, it, it's different if it's a video camera because the camera's not talking back and you're not really seeing the people per se, but it's kind of annoying. It's just like, let me do what I need to do. This is my job. Don't bother me right now. I don't want that. And maybe this is part of the culture that he's speaking on that you have. And this is not the players that have set this up. This is Jerry Jones with the, you know, the star tours and things. You can't take videos of it. This is going to Oxnard, going to Oxnard and setting up that great big, you know, platform for everybody to see having in the end zone there where, you know, if you pay the, the membership fee of an extra three or $400, you can be sitting there with the families and everything else and the press and stuff there, you know, and it's coming back to the star after training camp, you know, after you've had all those practices with all those people there, uh, you know, that have been there asking for autographs and signings and pictures and everything else and all of the media and everything else. Then you go back to the star and you have open practices there at the star that maybe this is the problem. This is the culture. And this is why everybody hates you. Why everybody gives you their best games. Because they look and they say, we don't get all this publicity. We, we work just as hard, if not harder, than you guys. And that's why Kai's come in here, because you the rich kids. You getting all that love and everything else. And at some point, when you get all of this attention and everything else, you think that you're maybe better than you really are. And herein lies the real problem. It's the culture that Jerry and Stephen Jones put out there. It's the culture of, you know, I can live without you guys and trashing the players instead of just getting the deals done and announcing it instead of, yeah, we're going to work on it. You know, well, we don't know if we can get it done. If we don't get it done, we can go through and not do it. You don't see this shit with anybody else, anybody else. And maybe, just maybe, that's the problem. And that's why the Cowboys are where they are. Wow. Thank you, Dalton Schultz, 
for opening up my eyes a little bit more. It's not that I haven't thought that it's been there, but you just reminded me that it is a culture problem. All right, good people. It's about to get hot and heavy.